Hello and welcome to the third line of my YouTube videos. This one's going to be a little bit different from what I've been doing so far, but it's on a subject that I haven't seen any videos of and I think deserves mention. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen me do milling operations on this Nichols horizontal mill. All of the milling I've been doing has actually been on this vertical bridge board head. When I was getting started to bring this machine back to working order after not being ran for a long time, I made a call to Bridgeport to see if I could get any information on this head. In particular, what's the spindle taper? What type of call it should it use? And although the guy from Bridgeport told me that he didn't have any literature available on them, that it was likely the first series of heads that Bridgeport made. They made heads for horizontal mills originally before making complete milling machines. He said that it would take one of three different collet types. Number two, Morse taper. By far the easiest out of the three to find and the cheapest. Number seven, brown and sharp, which is similar in appearance to number two, Morse taper, although a little bit less common to find. I've been using number two, Morse taper, and I started to notice a change in the finish on my parts when using a face mill. At first I was getting a finish like this, just about burnished looking, just look at that, a mirror finish right off of the mill. And there's some chatter in there too, yeah, I could see kind of the little square shaped gouges. And after a while though I was getting a finish like this. No chatter, but whatever happened to that nice mirror finish? I'm sure that this has a lot more to do with uh, wear on the spindle bearings, especially if it is as old as a uh, as the fellow from Bridgeport said. But in any case, it got me thinking that maybe the taper in the spindle is not number two Morse taper, and that it is maybe the third type of collet that this machine could take. In here I've got two B3 collets. And B3 collets are just about prohibitively hard to find. You can still get new ones made by Hardinge, although have a look at how much they'll cost you. I was lucky to find some on eBay. I'm making this in March 2021. And for some reason, uh, there are quite a few B3 collets on eBay right now. Uh, they're all expensive, and someone is selling a complete set for $500. Really, all you need is the, the quarter inch, the half inch, and the three eighths. You probably don't need an eighth of an inch collet, and there's a good chance you'll never need a seven sixteenths. In any case, let's open this up and let's see if a B3 collet will go into this head. I really hope it doesn't. Well, here we are. Here's a B3 collet. And I don't see any, any factory markings on this, uh, although someone's written B3 and the, uh, the capacity of this one, which is 7 sixteenths. Let's see how this looks going into the head. Well, it looks good to me so far, and by good I mean <laughs> not right. Uh, no, a B3 collet does not sit completely into the taper of this spindle. Yep, 
Yeah. That is... That is not the right uh, taper for this collet. It is also a different drawbar thread. And I knew that B3 took a different drawbar thread than Morse Taper 2. Morse Taper 2 and number 7 Brown and Sharp take a 3 16 18 drawbar. But who knows? Maybe, maybe the drawbar that this came with when I got it was not original to the machine. I'm really glad that this B3 collet didn't fit the taper of this milling machine. I would not be too thrilled about now having to go out and get more B3 collets. But if you've got one of these original series bridge port heads, I recommend you do what I did. Get yourself a drill chuck with a number two Morse taper shank or a collet and see how that fits in the head. If a collet fits too high up, you might have a number seven brown and sharp. If neither of them seem to fit very well at all, well, you might need this collet. I'm going to do more videos on the Nichols milling machine because there really is a scarcity of videos on this machine. I'm sure not many people have it. But if you think that this video has nothing to do with the Nichols, well, look at this picture. You can see it's the same head. Two bolts instead of the four like the J head has. Yeah, Nichols made their own vertical milling attachment, but, well, that one, I wouldn't be able to use it with the milling machine how it is. There are a couple of other things that need to be addressed with this milling machine for it to work right. And for now, let's get this head off. Thank you.